Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and today we are going for an absolutely absurd archetype. It's Don Zalug and his Dark Scorpions, so super random. We've had these Dark Scorpion cards, I think, for a really, really long time. Let's see how you obtain them. So since 2018, we've had that one. Pretty crazy. But now we have this boy, Don Zalug. Luke, and we have this card, Mustering of the Dark Scorpion. So if you control Don Zalug, you can special summon any number of Scorpion, Dark Scorpion monsters from your hand, but only one copy of each. So pretty average, but it's kind of bad because we only have one copy of Don Zalug. I don't know how we got him. I know we're soft locked. Yeah, it was a login bonus. So soft lock to him. That means we're not going to be able to do it consistently. And what are you even going to do with these Dark Scorpion monsters anyway? So most of their effects trigger when they inflict battle damage. She's probably the best. This is Manet the Thorn. Uh, she does add one Scorpion card from your deck to your hand when she's inflicted damage or Dark Scorpion from your graveyard to your hand. Now that would be pretty good if it could search Don Zalug, but it can't, so pretty not good, and uh, these guys are even worse. This guy can return a card to the hand that you've, uh, once you've done damage, so there's kind of got to not be a monster. Pretty weird. Or look at the top card of their deck, return it to the top or the bottom. You're not really using them for this effect. This is Burglars, so uh, they just discard a spell card. None of it's really good. That's not why you're using the effect. We have three of Minet the Thorn because we're using Dark Scorpion. Tragedy of Love. Only activate it when you have Don Salug and Dark Scorpion Minet the Thorn face up on your side of the field. Send Minet the Thorn to the graveyard. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. So it's virtually like a, almost a four card combo. You could probably turn it into a three card combo. But uh, it's really bad. So how we have this one dude and no means to search him. How are we getting him out? We're using Mystic Tomato, guys. So Mystic Tomato will special summon one dark monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck and face up attack position. He only has 1,400. All these boys only have 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. So Mystic Tomato can special summon any of them. That way you get your Don Salug out. Then you could even just normal summon Manet, use your Tragedy of Love. Now, Mystic Tomato, you have to special summon an attack. So if your opponent has more than one monster, you could just float multiple tomatoes, take some damage for a destiny draw, and then finish off your combo. Actually works out pretty cool. So let's say you even had your Don Zalug in your hand and sold a Mystic Tomato. You could just get your Thorn out, destiny draw your Tragedy of Love, and finish them off from there. Now with all these dark monsters and this Mystic Tomato, I'm also running Clammy. I love, love, love splashing Clammy in dark decks. Then you have easily Chimera Felicia is even more consistent with Mystic Tomato. He can float Clammy, so he can float your entire deck. He's very strong in this. Then we have more Cosmic Cyclones to go along with the Destiny Draw. And then enemy controllers just for great utility. So uh, not a very good deck at all not a very good archetype at all is really hard to uh work with these boys but we did it pretty cool so it's uh pretty fun plays you guys will see in a moment and thanks for watching all right here's joey wheeler going first see he's got first using life point boost it's a pretty good hand, obviously. We have Clammy, Econ, Mustering. So he's got a Elemental Hero Lady Heat. She did 1500 damage to us. We're gonna let her do another 1500 damage to us. Obviously, we had plenty of plays we could do, but why not get a Destiny Draw when we have an enemy controller? So we're gonna use the Destiny Draw. We get Tragedy. Now, we get Mystic Tomato out, you can hit him. So with Mystic Tomato out, we can make sure he dies by something under 2400. And we could get our full combo out. But he brings out something much higher than 2400. 
brings out two things much higher than 2400, so we're gonna have to scrap that play all together and get real. He's trying to favorite hero at Neos, so we're gonna econ take that Neos. And we're about to show you, oh look at that guys, beautiful. So we go mustering, Don Salug, special summon Mane the Thorn, we use Tragedy of Love, destroy all those monsters. And he would make you destroy or discard one, but we made him just uh, mill two from the deck. He sets a monster. We top deck another monster. That's gonna be Clammy. Can't believe I got the full combo off there. I totally forgot. Then we swing into this boy. He would destroy a spell or trap. Obviously doesn't. We get to mill more cards from his deck. He has so many in his deck though. Now he's got a normal summon an alias just to dunk on Dalzalub, but he did his job. Grimmer Felicia can take it from here and hit him for lethal. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a set of Kaiba. Let's see what we got for our boy. We're going second. He's trying to go for a rank up. Let's see what he's got. He's using ultimate dragons, no less. We got some clammies, we got a thorn. And we got Mustering, so he sets, sets, we have Thorn, Mustering, and now Tragedy of Love. But we're gonna start with the Clammy. Clammy with the Clammy goes for a Preta Plant, so we wasted two Clammies on that, we're pretty confident. We swing over just a Priestess. He's gonna start with Ultimate Dragons right on his second turn. Now he's going to Poly just two of them for a Twin Burst. Now he's gonna banish our Khmer Felicia. He has to take 1500 to do it, but he does so. Oh, I think I remember this duel. I don't think I win this duel, but you do see some combos. I lose this duel by a coin flip, I do believe. If this is the duel I'm thinking of. So, he hits us for 3k. We do our destiny draw. Look at that, guys. We got the full four card combo. We go Don Zalug. Yeah, I don't win this duel. But we're getting the full 4 card combo right now, so we go Don Salute into our Manet the Thorn, destroy the Twin Burst. Now he has two cards in his hand, okay. We get to discard one random card when we hit him. We hit this terrible card of returning a card, just goes terrible. He, he top decks exactly what he needs in Protector of Eyes of Blue, and then another Blue Eyes. So he will eventually win the duel, but we if we discarded the other card instead of that spell card, we would have won the duel. It's my point, but a good way to look at the four card combos, it was just a coin flip. If we just got that other card, we would have won the duel. We didn't and we lost, but no big deal. Still with the combos, great great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a My Valentine going second. No saver map for her. Harpy's hunting ground. Here. He's got a normal summon on Neospatian. Pretty random. But I guess it is a wind monster. We got a Cosmic Cyclone. We got our Don Zalug already. We're going to use our Mustering of the Scorpions. When Don hits you, you discard a random. We hit a Harpy uh, Sisters. We get to search our Tragedy of Love when she does damage. So now if we can keep her on the field, we lose our Cosmic Cyclone. We can use our Tragedy of Love. Well, they would both have to stay on the field, so there's virtually no way that's gonna happen. But, uh, we can dream. We can dream of using this combo and stuff. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, it's usually fantastic lighting. Except for this, uh, 20 minute window. I guess I can, like, hide. It'll, it'll get better in a moment. So we have our Slash Harpy Lady. She goes for the Daunt. And then she goes for Manet. We've taken exactly 2,000 damage though. So we can Destiny Draw. All we really need is any kind of monster. Because our boy, Chimera Felicia, makes this deck just winnable. It would be too much of a meme without our boy Clammy. Don't leave home. Without Clammy, we banish the Harpy, we destroy the Slash, and it sets that. 
me out of another storm. Remember, I couldn't banish the, the Slash Harpy. That's why we didn't banish her. Now I hit him with the Thorn. That's gonna let us add another Thorn to our hand. We sh obviously should have added uh, Don Zalug. Then we could have normal summoned him. Used the combos. Didn't need it. But still, that's the proper play. Great, great stuff. Alright guys, here we are facing a Yubel. I don't even remember facing a Yubel. It's pretty weird. It must win really, really fast. Let's see what goes on. We have Mystic Tomatoes, so that doesn't usually mean a fast win, but let's see what we do. We have an Econ. Despots. Okay, I do remember fighting Despots. I think we just disrupt this guy just enough to finish him off from his little Despots. So he tries to kill our Mystic Tomato. Can't do it. That 1100 booty's too big. We get a Mustard and a Dark Scorpion. Super useless right now. Now we're gonna normal summon burglars. Steal a death spot. Use that death spot. Two XCs. Now we're not gonna detach him. We're gonna keep that death spot right with us. We'll just swing at this little death spot. He can still use his effect, but it's only gonna give him 500 damage. No big deal at all. And we bump up to 2700. Here he's got a Magnet Circle level 2 that special summons another Desk Boy. Could have probably just normal summoned him though. Now here we have our Dark Scorpion Burglar, so can he not be normal summoned? Not even normal summoned. So uh, we hit him for 1, hit him for 2 after banishing his boy, and that is lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay. Alright, here we are facing a Seto Kaiba. Now I'm Duke Devlin. Exact same deck. Just, uh, I'm using an attack booster in his dice booster instead of Destiny Draw. Uh, it does come into play in this duel, but Destiny Draw overall was way better for the deck because, like I said, you're taking a lot of damage with your Mystic Tomato special summoning in attack position. So you can float a few tomatoes, take some damage, take 2k, and then finish them off from there. Here, we're facing an aggressive, um, Blue Eyes. He's got a Cosmo Brain and a Spirit of Whiteout. He kills one Mystic Tomato, hits us for 1700 on our other Mystic Tomato, and we special summon our boy, Don Zalud. And we get a Burglar, so we're gonna use Dark Scorpions, special summon the Burglars. Normal summon the Mystic Tomato, that's gonna be a level 4 XEs of a Malevolent Sin. We banish the Cosmo Brain. We use our Dice Booster to boost him up over the Spirit of White. So now, if I didn't have Dice Booster, we could have gone with, uh, with Ouroboros. Return the Cosmo Brain. Destroy the uh, Spirit of White. Minor difference. Same thing with the skills. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing an Astro and Yuma. We're going second. He's looking for a rank up. I probably should have just surrendered and gave it to him. I didn't know. So we have Tragedy of Love and Nene the Thorn. We have Burglars now. So we just set our enemy controllers. We got both our enemy controllers. We play our Burglars. Swing into uh, our Tordius. He's got a Cosmic Psycho now. Econ, so we're gonna Econ take his boy. No Noble Knight plays for you, and he passes his turn. Now we top deck a Clammy. We're gonna bring out the Clammy. Chimera Felicia. Banish. Now he's down to 500 life points. We still have an Econ. He gets his Zexal weapon. That means he gets to go Super Saiyan. Pretty wild. I need to make... Uh, a deck for this video, or a deck for this video, video for this deck, but I haven't. So, uh, Zexomorph. Now he's gonna normal summon a go Goblin Dimberg. Very funny name. Uh, and then he's got a Kagi Tokage. And he's special summon a Kribo, for some reason. Goes into a Utopia. his Utopia cutscene, of course. Very nice. Now he's gonna evolve it. I think he even has a cutscene for this one too, right? Well, we're about to find out, so let's see. It's 
sorry about this lighting. It should normalize in just a moment. He does have a cutscene for this. I haven't really seen this one. So it's still 39 on him. Brings out Ray. And then, boom, he comes. Flip him. Passes his turn. You can't banish him because he's an XD's monster, so he doesn't have a level. But we can banish that Karibo. And then we can hit him with our boy Clammy. He can jump in and just uh, use his tongue, hit him for lethal. So, uh, I, uh, I don't know. Chimera Felicia really carried this deck, obviously, so the core plays of the Dark Scorpions aren't super what you're looking for in this deck. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's any support. Even if we had more Don Zal Maybe if we had more Don Zalug, I don't know, because then you could maybe do balance and go with more mustering and have some traps. Who knows, what is this archetype even? Is this like a real archetype, guys? What is this? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching, guys.